<clears throat> All right, this is the book of uh, first John. It's like <clears throat> this is the book of John, four and verse thirteen. Yahweh shot answered and said unto her, Whosoever drink this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh the water that I should give him shall never thirst. But the water that I should give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into salvation. It's like it it's springing up into everlasting life. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect of the nation Israel. <clears throat> So this lesson is basically going to go into, you know, Lord willing, you know, it's edifying. I'm going to try to just go in the spirit, but it's going to be along the lines of, um, you know, we can lead a horse to the water, but we cannot make him drink. You know, that water being this doctrine of Yahweh Shah, you know, being that water, that door, you know, being Yahweh Shah, you know, basically... Believing on Yahweh Shai. We, we can tell our people, or we can tell, you know, um, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, because, you know, Yahweh Shai only came unto you and to those that, um, whose spirit bear witness, you know, with our spirit, that Yahweh Shai come in the flesh and that he's the son of the Most High, you know, and that we are the children of Israel, you know, this, this, we are speaking unto you as well. Because even though that you may not look like, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you still, if this resonates with your spirit, that we are the children of Israel, hey, you may be a, ch a children of Israel as, as well, man. You may, your fathers may go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, because the scriptures say we, we should be as the sands of the sea. And we was also scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And we were going to pick up every nation's um, image. You know, we, we were basically going, we was going to look like all the nations on the earth. Cause, cause, because of the scattering, you know. But it's not a, it's not about how you look, you know. It's what it's it's what your spirit is. Is whether you are an Israelite or whether you're not an Israelite, you know. And um, <clears throat> again, we can tell our people about Yahweh Shah. You know, give them that testimony. You know, giving giving that testimony, which is um the spirit of prophecy. You know, it's like let me let me um let me put this on airplane mode before I get any interruptions. <clears throat> but yeah, um Yahweh Shah come only for his people, man. But the only only the elect of his people are gonna um Get with the program. The only the elect of Yasha Allah is going to get with the message. You know, only the elect is going to cleave unto Yahweh Shah. You know, Come, coming back to Yahweh Shah. You know, because only the elect is going to fully believe and be persuaded in their own mind that Yahweh Shah is the savior of the body. You know, only the elect is going to believe that Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son, you know, that firstborn, that first begotten son of Yahweh. Made by Yahweh himself, you know, the first spirit created. Only the elect is going to believe that there is salvation in no other. No other name, you know. Let's get this in John 7. <clears throat> John 7 and um <clears throat> John 7 and verse Thirty-eight. He that believeth on me, as the Scripture have said, 
out of his belly shall flow living, uh, rivers of living water. You know, so we must believe on Yahweh Shai's description of say, you know, in first the, the scripture first, it it um the scripture describes Yahweh Shai physically, you know, in the flesh, you know, his well, his skin, his hair, his eyes, his feet, you know, his you know, going back to his skin. You know, his voice, <clears throat> what nation he come out of, what he come to do, his character, you know. Um, the scripture describes Yahweh Shai as, you know, coming out again, coming out of the, uh, the lions of Judah, you know. Actually being an Israelite himself. Matthew 1, coming for his people, you know, to give his people repentance. The scriptures uh, speak about his austerity, you know. Um, <clears throat> and the scriptures speak about how he's coming to redeem his elect from out the four corners of the earth. His one third from out of Babylon the great, you know, and the elect from the four corners. The scriptures speak about how Yahweh Shai is coming to also... Um, to bring a sword, you know, he's not coming to gather everybody. The scriptures speak on how Yahweh Shai speak on division, you know, how Yahweh Shai is coming to punish the world for the evil. All these things the scripture speak on, and we must believe on him as the scriptures say, you know. <clears throat> But we can lead a horse, and this is what we do all, every week, and throughout the week, we are leading our people to Yahweh Shah, but our people will not hearken. You know, so we cannot, we can, we can lead a horse to the water, but we cannot make them drink. You know, we can, we can, we can, we can go out and prophesy, and showing our people the way. But when Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah got that uh that veil up on our people, you know, to where they cannot um see nor hear, you know, hear the message, nor even uh it, it cannot resonate with them. They are in the hands of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. The deceiver, the deceiver heals. The blind are heals, you know. Those who Yahweh Shah blind, who Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah blinds, they also heals. They are also his. Just like the ones we woke up and the ones that see, you know, the children of the day, you know, those that been of the day, those that can see clearly and, and that hear the voice, they are his. You know, and everything that happens is according to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But again, standing up on our watch, warning our people. Only thing we can do is warn. Only thing we can do is speak the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We cannot, we cannot make our people get it. That has to come from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, whether he want them to get it or not. You know? And the scripture tell us just prophesy prophesy anyway. You know, they I mean, you know, prophesy and win. You know, I think it was Jeremiah. Just prophesy and win. Even if the people don't, even if they don't hear you, just prophesy. You know, just push the vibration of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai in the earth. This is the book of uh, Ezekiel. We can we can lead a we can lead a horse to the water, but we cannot make them drink. You know, and our people see rather than the living water or the water, right? That water that they won't thirst again. They rather they rather have cheap liquor, which. Which the philosophies of Babylon the Great engulfed in the philosophies of Babylon the Great, you know, its teachings, its its religion, its Christianity, you know, the world. They rather they rather engulf themselves in the world, you know, and and um love the world rather than uh rather than the truth, rather than hearing the truth. Ultimately, because Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah has them rejected right now. They are rejected. 
You know? I'm not saying you how about some you You know, because it's gonna be an awakening in these last it's gonna be awakening in these last days. I'm not saying you how about some shy won't take that spirit of slumber off you know some of those Israelites that are asleep. Cause we was once we was once sleep and you how about some y'all shy woke us up. You know, he woke us up out of sleep. You know, so without all the rambling, let's get this real quick. Um, <clears throat> what is that? Uh, slack here. <clears throat> this is the book of Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing... So like, and that knowing the time, that now is high time to wake out of sleep for it. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So his salvation is closer. It's nearer. It's nearer now. You know, it's nearer now than ever. The night is far spent and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. You know, time to come out of the world but in this drunken state. Put on the armor of light. You know. Put on Yahweh Shai. Right? Because Yahweh Shai is going to be the way through, that we get through this darkness. You know, as the scriptures state, I am the door. Yahweh Shai being that door. And we try to lead our people to the door so they can get through the door, which is going through Yahweh Shai. You know? We got to go through Yahweh Shai. You know? Everybody must go through Yahweh Shai to get to the Father. But Yahweh Shai is our mediator, man. You know? And I'm not speaking on every... See, every nation not going to make it. Because Yahweh Shai, again, going back... Yahweh Shai did not, did not come to lay down his life for every nation. He only came to give repentance unto the nation of Israel. Yahshua Allah. This is the book of Matthew chapter 1 and 21. And she, being Mary, shall bring forth a son who, whose name so like is her son, which is the son of the Most High. And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Not Jesus. You know, Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. You know? His people. That's possessive. His people from their sins. He's supposed to save his people from their sins. What is sin? <clears throat> Going back to sin. 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed the law. Also the law for sin is the transgression of the law. Let's get this in the NLT. It says, everyone who is breaking the most high's law for, for all sin is contrary to the law of the most high. And the law of the most high was given unto who? The children of Israel coming out of, um, you know, it was, it was written in stone coming out of Egypt. The Lord gave it to Moses to give the children of Israel, you know. So to transgress the law which was given unto you, which wasn't given unto everyone, is sin. And Yahweh Shai come to deliver our people from the sins. His people. Again, we're leading our people to the water, which is the door, but we can't make them drink. We can't make our people believe. You know? And you got our people trying to come up some other way. As the scripture states. Let's get this. I am the door. Then it's John 14. I, I say, I am the door. <clears throat> Our people are trying to come up some other way through, through other, through other philosophies and, 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 and different, different ways, man. Let's see. I am the way to the door. This is the book of John. Let's go with chapter 10. 
John chapter 10 and verse I can start at one. <clears throat> verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbed up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him, the porter. Open it. And the sheep hear his voice, and he called his his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. The gatekeeper, this is NLT, the gatekeeper opens the gate for him. You know? And the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. And he calls his sheep by name and leads them out. And, and then to, to call his sheep, you must be familiar with them. And for those sheep to hear you, and follow you out and to be led, they must know you. They must know him. They must know the shepherd. You know? What the scripture say? My, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Right? Because the voice resonates with the elect. It resonates with his sheep. You know? And when he put it, this is verse four in the KJV. And when he put it forth, his own sheep, he go before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. That's right. And the stranger, they will not follow, but will flee from him for they know not the voice of the strangers. Right. And we're not going after any other doctrine, man. Once, once, once the elect woke up to the knowledge of who they were and who the, who the shepherd was, who Yahweh Shah was, that was it. Fully persuaded. Not tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine, but know that Yahweh Shai is the way. That rock, actually those that are grounded and rooted in Yahweh Shai. You know, we're not following any other stranger, man. The voice of these strangers, you know. This the, this parable spake Yahweh Shai to them, but they understood not what things they were what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Yahweh Shai unto them again, Verily, verily I say unto you. I'm the door of the sheep. Yahweh Shai is the door of the sheep. You know? It says, All that ever came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I'm the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Through Yahweh Shai, only through Yahweh Shai. No other way, no other name, no, no, no other way. It's not through Jesus, not through none of these other false ass religions, not, not through these other uh, idols, not through idol worship, not through your own vain thoughts and opinions. No. How why you have say my thoughts are not your thoughts, man. Your, your thoughts are not the thoughts of, of, of the heavenly father, man. You know, neither way, neither are your ways my ways. Uh, it says. <clears throat> I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. Enter in what? We're going to enter in to the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, to get salvation. Through who? Yahweh Shai. The one that gives salvation. You know? The one that brings salvation. The one who came in, in to, to forgive his people for sins. Yahweh Shai. The thief coming not to steal. I mean, it's like the thief coming not but to steal, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am coming that they may have life. That they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd give his life for the sheep. And Yahweh Shah, did he not do that? You know? He gave his life for the sheep. You know? He laid down his life for his friends. It says... <clears throat> But he that is in the hireling, whose own sheep are not, see the wolf coming and leave it the sheep. Yeah, these people are for hire. You know, they do these things for filthy lucre's sake. You know, they, they do it for monetary gain. You know, but they're not really standing on that. They're not standing on what they're preaching. They're not standing on your house shot. You know?
It says, um, <clears throat> they see the wolf coming and leave it the sheep and fleeth. So they're not really there for the sheep. They're only there for their own gain, man. Their own personal gain. It says, and leave it the sheep and flee it. And the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep. The hireling and flee it because he is a hireling and care not for the sheep. But Yahweh shall care for the sheep. Here it is. You got our people. They, they willing and, and desperately going to these churches and giving up everything. They giving up their monies. They giving up this, their lives, their souls, you know. But guess what? They're not giving it to Yahweh Shai. Who, the one who gave came to give them life, man. You know? As for the father know me, even so even so know I the father, for I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they shall be one fold and, and, and one shepherd. At the end of the day, we're trying to, again, we're calling the elect through, through the voice, you know? That voice being the voice of Yahweh Shemiah but he used men. He used men. To do the works, you know, he used men to go out and, and preach and prophesy, but it's not of our own, it's of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, it's not of us, you know. The elect gonna hear, the elect gonna repent, and the elect is gonna remain. Unmovable and a hey, abounding in abounding in his work and, and standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh Shmi Shai and unto salvation. So Lord witness it if we give all praises, glory, honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Kakadash, double honors to the apostles, the elders, great millstone, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom and a Baba Baba.